Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. No, I'm just joking. Um, but actually, one thing I am doing is checking my vlog notes. Now, that's kind of the topic of this video, at least part of it, which is that I did check the Samsung... Um, I did check the Samsung app on my Sony phone, and it turns out that no, you cannot, in fact, um, download Samsung Notes onto a Sony phone, which is a shame because you can download, say, Samsung Internet Browser. Mm -hmm. Such a very, very creative title. Um, but that's one thing. Very disappointing. Luckily, Samsung Notes does let you export um, files either as text file or your notes as text files or Word files. So I exported them all as Word files and emailed them to myself so that I'll have these notes forever. All these cringy notes. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is on my bed you can see, well, not much, but you can see some things strewn about. That is, I did purchase a new mic. And it was not the big, it was not the big fancy um, one that needed a different port and like a mixer and all this wildness. I will probably invest in a mic like that, but I just needed, you know, a hundred dollar replacement. Not a hundred dollar replacement that needed a hundred dollar mixer or amp or converter or whatever you want to call it. So I got this one. And I guess the next video will be um, using it. So I'll be recording from my computer with the bad webcam. Um, but hopefully the sound will be good. We'll see. Um, according to my notes, I don't actually have much to say here. But... Um, just a few personal updates. The new bed... The new bed is probably upside down. I don't mean like this is the bottom, but rather this is the, might be the foot of the bed and the head might be at my feet. And that does matter for this mattress for some reason. Uh, one way that mattress companies cheap out on you is that they... And actually, I think I talked about this in an earlier vlog like much earlier, like from last year. But they put regular foam at the head and the feet, and then they only put memory foam in the middle. I guess memory foam is more expensive or something. So I think there's different amounts or different placements, or maybe the head does get memory foam and the feet don't. So this part, I kind of sink in the middle. Anyway, um... I wanted this to be a short vlog, and so it's going to be a short vlog. Um, I wanted to say something else about War and Peace, but basically the, the, the crux of it is that it takes nine books for War and Peace to really pick up, more like seven books for it to pick up its stride which means that the first third of War and Peace is kind of slow. And it, I think I said this before, but I'll say it again. It doesn't really get any faster. It just gets more intentional, more on purpose, you could say. Um, more things are happening that uh, sort of interconnect with each other. We get a better sense of scenes, uh, the emotional arcs. Um, the emotional arcs are starting to get developed the way that they are in Anna Karenina, where each chapter, rather than having, say, a mini storyline or scene, as many books have, um, instead of, you know, an event that has, like, a crux or maybe ends on a cliffhanger, um, in, in Anna Karenina, and it's starting to happen in War and Peace, we have a building of emotion, and there's an emotional climax rather than an event or scenario climax. So, it's all starting to come together in War and Peace. 
there was the second historical essay, not as um, poignant as the first. It really was more of an exposition dump. Um, that's it. So we're recording with the Sony again today. Next time we'll record with the computer. And then I'll try Samsung at night, because it looks like the Sony makes me look kind of orange when it's dark. So I want to see if the Samsung phone looks better at dark, and I might um, continue to use that phone when it is dark, if I look better, uh, even once I switch over to the Xperia. And I will be switching soon. In fact, probably next week. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this shorter vlog. Um, short. Oh, right. I did read my notes for Alexander Pope, and... I still don't really like him, so we're the course is going to be focusing on Swift, but I'll probably talk about Pope and um, his importance, because he was important. He did translate, I think, the Iliad. Um, I'll talk about that for maybe 10 or 20 minutes in the Swift video, just because they're contemporaries. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Already at 101, eh? Nice.